Hello everyone, Daniel here. In this video, we're gonna cover how to import your karaoke tracks into OpenKJ. It's very, very simple. Go to the karaoke menu at the top and click on Manage Karaoke DB. On this screen, there's a few buttons, so we'll go through them. The Add and Remove button is simply there to add or remove the folder paths where your karaoke files are stored. The Clear Song DB clears the entire karaoke library in one go. It doesn't delete any of your files from your hard drive or anything like that. It simply clears the karaoke database in OpenKJ. Export CSV is once you have a karaoke library built, then you can export a list of your karaoke library in a CSV format. The update button is used if you have multiple paths you, and you only want to update a single path. You can highlight that path and click on update. Update all will simply look at all paths listed here and update them all at the same time. Custom patterns is an advanced function in OpenKJ. Most users won't use it, but it's there just in case. It uses regular expression to do matching uh, during the import function, but the standard import functionality meets 99% of all users scenarios anyway. So to get started, click on add, simply navigate to the folder where your karaoke files are stored. In my case, it's at this top level folder here called karaoke tracks. Click on select folder, then it's going to ask you to identify the naming convention. Now it's very important before you do the import function that you do make sure that you have a decent naming convention for your karaoke tracks. In my case, I have song ID, artist and title. I know that's how my tracks are named. However, there's a number of uh, naming conventions here available. As a fallback, we've also included a media tags option. What that will do is look at your media files, such as MP3s, look at the IDV3 tag information, such as artist and title, and use that to do the uh, import and identification of those tracks. Just bear in mind, if the metadata on those tracks is inaccurate, it will mean that the karaoke track library will be inaccurate as well. So it's super important to make sure that your naming convention of your files is correct before you do the import. So in my case, I have song ID, artist and title as my naming convention. Click OK. You'll see that the folder path is now listed. I click update all. The database has been completely updated. I click OK and then close and now I have my karaoke tracks listed in the library. If you wanted to clear the karaoke library, go to the karaoke menu at the top, manage karaoke DB, and click on clear song DB. Now note here that it will not only clear the karaoke library, it will also clear any saved rotation data and any regular singer data. So please be sure that you've got a backup of your regular singers before you do this. Once you're confirmed, click on yes. It will get a notification that your song database, regular singers and all rotation data has been cleared and you can click OK. The next scenario is if you have an additional folder that you wanted to import in over the top of your existing library. To do that, click on karaoke at the top, manage karaoke DB. You can see here that the folder I currently have that's storing my library tracks is just this top level karaoke tracks folder. However, I have an additional folder I want to bring in. So to do that, I click on add, and then I browse to where the new folder is. In this case, I've just called it new karaoke tracks. I highlight that, select folder, pick my naming convention. In this case, I know it's song ID, artist and title. Click OK. Now I have the new folder listed here. To update just that single folder, I highlight it and click on update. And then it tells me that my database update is complete. Click on close and I can see that my new tracks have now been included. So with that, you should now have a karaoke library imported into OpenKJ. That brings us to the end of the video. I hope it helped you and we'll see you in the next one.